Right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually, when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh ins to the stare down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup, when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's your first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Bruno Czech Republic, Yuri Denisa Kuchasa. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Great. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh. Big leg kick land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, 
Do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Nice hook there by McGregor. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh, nice job to land the knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he lands hit another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily do that. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. We march on three minutes to go. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Some blood starting to trickle down in and around that left eye. Hopefully it doesn't affect his vision. Try to establish that jab. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, big punch lands. with the knee to the body. Oh, spinning back fist. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by McGregor. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-up, no tell, just a brutal kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right hand on point. That's a big strike right there. Jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, beautiful technique to land the overhand. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Nice strike. Oh, nice inside kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Visibly limping here. Slips the shot. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Punch over the top. Ten seconds. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Right there, his opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Look at that. He got the better you that round. He battered you a little bit. You hung there tough. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Body kick is blocked. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. 
See, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Good jab. McGregor gets stumped by that leg kick. Nice punch here. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So there it is, longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission pop is up. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the leg, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. That one's coming in. Nice strike. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. He throws the right hand there. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this this season. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Man, he just gets better with every fight. Another kick to the leg landed there by McGregor. Look at the force behind that leg kick. You can't take many of those, you better check. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Jab, cross, hike, and go. Nice. Landed that left hook. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. Just misses there with the left. Big kick lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Back and forth we go. Oh, roundhouse kick, DC. That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. Oh, man, that's hard to watch. Another leg kick lands flush, and if you're the opponent at this point in time, you gotta check something. What are you doing? You gotta adjust. You gotta be doing something different, because to this point, what you're doing is not working. Get close. Fight chest to chest. Maybe relax on the outside. Don't panic. Don't be jumpy. Try to find comfort in knowing that you've done this. You have the reps. You know how to check kicks. Just take your time. Be comfortable. Get that leg up. It's only going to take one great check to make right. him stop throwing those kicks. Straight punch lands. Just missed with the leg kick. Come on. Big kick lands. His hands are down. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by McGregor. Another shot lands upstairs. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And that's the end of round number two. Stop, stop. Stop.
All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. McGregor's head kick is blocked. No damage there. It's such a fast leg kick. Big punch lands. Oh. Rips the body there for good measure. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Big kick land. Able to check that kick as well. Hands up, hands up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good stick. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Yes, that he heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at him drive his shins into his opponent's body with that body. Kick. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, what a punch. You got to check. These low leg kicks. Continues with the leg kick. Slips the punch. Big power shot there. Inside low kick. Just out of range with the uppercut. Oh man, head to land. And both guys really throwing with authority. on Thursday, those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this fall. They talk about the feeling out process, getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Throws leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. That's how he slows these guys down and breaks them down. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. and range and landing another punch. He's got a decided reach advantage in this one. Punch is blocked. He 
has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And that one certainly found the target. And he landed the right hand there. That's three rounds in the can who are headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork. Goes to the body with the knee. And he connects. That's it. that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but top for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. All right, here now Bruce Buffer and with the official decision. has called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds at round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, the notorious Conor McGregor! Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious...